Hi guys, good morning. So I, um, man, I have so much to do, so much work to do. And um, I was just feeling extremely overwhelmed, <laughs> really didn't know which direction to go. Um, I really need to make some journals and I really want to make some journals. And if you know me, you know that I don't just make one journal at a time, you know, but, um, I just, I don't know. I just kept going all these different directions and had a really hard time trying to figure out what the heck I was going to do. And, um, cause I have so many different projects that I could continue on. You know what I mean? They're like started, but anyway, so that being said, binder journals are one of those projects and I had a whole bunch of stuff prepped for making a bunch of binder journals and um, I had been putting it off because I didn't have the right punch you know so I found a five hole um, paper punch and so that made made it a lot easier but um, I just thought okay normally I do five, six, 10, 20 journals at a time. And I thought, no, I'm not going to do that. Um, it's just a little overwhelming right now. So I thought, okay, I'm just going to do the one that I really want to do. And that was the sewing book. So that's what I did. And, um, so I only have one journal that I'm going to be listing today and, um, I'll have it up probably as soon as this video, um, uploads. So, I just wanted to do a flip through on it and um, let you guys see it um, rather than having to go into such a huge detailed description in, in the in the listing on Etsy. Although there will be some photos in there too. So um, and I, I like to do this to document the, the book too uh, for my own records. You know what I mean? So anyway, um, so basically it's a uh, vintage uh, Better Homes and Gardens sewing book. And I just am in love with pom-pom trim lately. It's just a thing. Like, so wherever I can use it and get away with it, I'm doing it. The binding on this book is in such great shape that, you know, it, it didn't need anything necessarily. But, you know, I like to kind of, I don't know, spruce it up a little bit. So I did. Um, I did a little um, kind of a tassel, I guess on just like an, on a little, um, like a little book ring here on the, on the cover. And then I attached one of the little paper clip bead charms that I've been making lately. And, um, there'll be a close up picture of it in the listing. Um, I'm just loving making these and Paula Forder, um, has a great video on, um, the inspiration for those. So, then um, I just did some seam binding as a closure through a couple of eyelets. And um, this is some seam binding that I dyed recently. And i um, just really happy with the kind of bubblegum pink that it turned out. So, um, and I, I usually go pretty generous on the, on the seam binding when, when I do that. So there's lots of it to, to play with. You could even cut some of that off and use it on something else if you wanted to. Let me make sure I'm in frame here. So, like I said, this cover was just in great shape. So, um, it didn't didn't need any type of um, reinforcement or anything like that. So, there are some pages that are not necessarily sewing themed in here. I'm going to say that it's it l leans heavily towards the sewing ephemera, although, um, you know, there's there's going to be some gardening stuff in there. Um, I pulled pages from all of the other five ring binders that I have and used some of those in these books to in this one too. So you'll see some from the decorating one and that kind of stuff. So um, anyway, so I'll just get to it. Um, so there's some of the tags that I made recently. Um, some little note cards. I kind of went heavy on the like 60s, 70s sort of vibe, uh, with this journal. Um, not everything's coffee dyed. Um, there is some coffee dyed content. Um, but, but not everything. Um, I use some of my new little flower paper clips on here with some ephemera, little, 
little picture of a little kid from I think the 40s at some point that's not a family member but he's a pretty cute little kid <clears throat> some more tags and there's a like I said a page from that decorating book um, and I kind of you know am feeling like this would be great to be used as you know an art journal too you know um, a lot of the content that's in here could be used taken and moved around and um, used in other journals or whatever but it's pretty it's pretty fat there's there's a lot of stuff in this book um, but that's the cool thing about the five ring you know binder journals any binder journal really is that you can move everything around I made some pages out of some vintage um, sewing patterns did a little bit of decorative stitching on the edge of this one and you know I just added a little bit of uh, rickrack some trim here and there um, used a lot of my note cards that I've been hoarding um, some book pages there's a page out of the gardening binder and I'll be working on the other ones I've got six or seven other ones uh, of these binder books that um, I'll be working on over the next few months but I think what I'm gonna do rather than trying to do them all at once um, I'm just gonna release them one at a time and then in in between them I'll be working on you know some of my other minis and that kind of thing I am doing um, an August monthly mini and I still haven't decided which what <laughs> which ones I'm gonna do um, it may be I have some larger popcorn bag um, journals that I want to make, but I also have some other um, like patchwork ones too. So we'll see. Lots of pockets. Um, I left. There's a lot of stitching in here, and a lot of the um, a lot of the threads. I you know I did not trim. There's a recipe card just stuck in a little tuck there. Um, some pages from one of the cookbooks, Better Homes and Gardens cookbooks, and some ephemera in here, some vintage snaps. Lots of goodies in here. Just a little note card, a lot of envelopes and of course project life cards <laughs> um, I just used paper clips throughout the throughout the journal to attach tags and um, journaling cards and things like that made some pockets out of some vintage like table runners and uh, fabrics and stuff like that there's some um, book pages from some children's books um, oh I forgot to put something in here um, oh you know what I'll put in there here we go some pattern paper there we go <laughs> um, yeah just lots of pockets and tuck spots there's some 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 different stuff too not just sewing but like I said it, it definitely um, leans towards the, the sewing theme some cooking pages and where I felt the pages needed it um, I did add reinforcers reinforcement stickers or whatever you call them um, on on those pages wherever I felt like they needed it so if you feel like they need more then you know definitely you can add some more um, so this is a little little pocket it's like a window so you could add a little picture in there if you wanted to this paper from this Toby's Goblin book this is a, a really old um, children's book is um, it's so neat it's super super soft and um, I don't know I'm just in love with the paper from that book <laughs> There's some pages out of this um, like sewing Bible that I that I have. Um, there's another envelope full. Of, this is just has a bunch of recipe cards in there. A little packet of them. I have not counted that this has um, two pockets. There's a pocket here and a pocket up here. Um, I've not counted the pages <laughs> in this book. But I can tell you that 
there is well over um, 300, you know, writing surfaces in here. Well over that. Um, not even counting like the, the inserts, the, the, you know, journaling cards and things like that. So, so another little recipe card in here. There's some old stuff in here and there's some new stuff, you know, it's just kind of a mixture. It's another envelope, lots and lots of envelopes. I love putting envelopes in binder journals. Um, I just think they're just, I don't know, they're just easy to, easy to kind of come up with like, oh, that could be a pocket, you know, stitch a couple pages together and, and make it a pocket. So, um, and here's my little tag. Um, to identify myself, I guess, as the bookmaker. So I just made a whole bunch of those. So I'm going to just start putting those into each one of my books somewhere in the book. Some recipe pages. I, I must have been in the owl section in the um, encyclopedia because there's a bunch of pages um, about owls in here. This is from some other sewing book. I can't remember what the book was called. This is a cover from an, an old book. Um, it's a journaling card. Another um, pattern page. It's a, one of the little paper clip bead um, charms that I made over the, the last this last weekend. Um, layaway tag and some journaling cards. This is from an old um, kids book on Rumpelstiltskin and the whole book is um, all of the pictures have been created with embroidery and then photographed and it's really a cool book. So this is all like actual embroidery that's not, um, you know what I mean, a picture of embroidery. <laughs> <clears throat> There's some strange stuff in here. It's definitely a hodgepodge um, in the true spirit of a junk journal. Um, you know, there's lots of different types of um, ephemera, lots of different things. So I love these tags made out of the old sewing patterns. Some of these patterns are just so old and brittle. The best way to um, preserve them was to just, you know, glue them onto something more stable. Some pages from the flow book in here. <clears throat> I don't remember what that book was. That sewing book. I can't remember. Some little bundle of um, coffee dyed paper and um, field guide page. Pretty colorful page here. Just an old coupon for, I don't even know what it's for, some kind of milk or something. I think it's for evaporated milk, but this is a pretty old coupon. Yeah, heart, oh, for a pitcher. Heart of milk pitcher. <laughs> Some more owls. I should have called this the owl sewing journal or something. <laughs> so lots of different things in here. Lots of music paper too. Use a lot of kids book pages. Put a little packet of, um, or a little pad of note paper in here. Somewhat of a, I would say, 70s kind of theme going on. It's from the Jungle Book. <laughs> I have no nails anymore. And please excuse my hands if you're looking at them going, geez, um, 
I've been dying seam binding for the last two days and I got tired of wearing the gloves. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so I've got a lot of ink on my hands. Anyway, okay. And then here's the back, the back uh, cover. And there's just a little pocket made out of a vintage sewing pattern. Okay, and there's the back. Put some more pom-pom um, trim on the back too. And I love pink and green together. <laughs> All right, so there is my one singular um, binder journal that I'm gonna have listed here within the next 15 to 20 minutes. So it's Sunday, um, August 5th, and um, it's about 7.30 in the morning. Uh, Pacific time. So um, I should, I should have it up within the next hour. Okay. All right, you guys, thanks for watching and give me a thumbs up if you like the journal, um, the video or whatever, and don't forget to subscribe and share the video with, you know, anybody that you think might enjoy watching and um, you guys have, have a good remainder of your Sunday. Okay. Bye. And I love you. Okay. Bye.